The Congregation for Institutes of Consecrated Life and Societies of Apostolic Life Latin, Congregatio pro Institutus Vitae Consecrati et Societatibus Vitae Apostolicae is the congregation of the Roman Curia responsible for everything which concerns institutes of consecrated life orders and religious congregations, both of men and of women, as well as secular institutes and societies of apostolic life, regarding their government, discipline, studies, goods, rights, and privileges. Topic. Description Topic. On May 27, 1586, Pope Sixtus V founded the Sacred Congregation for Consultations about Regulars. In 1908 Pope Pius X changed its name to the Congregation for Religious. In 1967 Pope Paul VI changed its name to the Congregation for Religious and Secular Institutes. Pope John Paul II gave the congregation its current name. The congregation is responsible for everything which concerns religious orders and congregations, and societies of apostolic life regarding their government, discipline, studies, etc. It is competent also for matters regarding hermits, consecrated virgins, and new forms of consecrated life. It has no territorial limits, although certain questions may be remanded to other Vatican congregations. The congregation also handles matters concerning associations of the faithful formed with the intention of becoming institutes of consecrated life or societies of apostolic life, and for third orders seculars. In 1994, the congregation noted, "...in some places it seems that religious community has lost its relevance in the eyes of women and men religious and is perhaps no longer an ideal to be pursued." In many countries, increased state programs in areas in which religious have traditionally been active such as social service, education, and health together with the decrease in vocations, have resulted in a diminished presence of religious in works which used to be typically those of apostolic institutes. less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 it is necessary to have religious communities with a clear charismatic identity assimilated and lived capable of transmitting them to others and disposed to share them religious communities with an intense spirituality and missionary enthusiasm for communicating the same spirit and the same evangelizing thrust religious communities who know how to animate and encourage lay people to share the charism of their institute according to their secular character and according to their different style of life, inviting them to discover new ways of making the same charism and mission operative." Pope Francis addressed the congregation in January 2017 on the theme of "...fidelity and perseverance," saying, "...it is clear that one must first let oneself be evangelized in order to engage in evangelization." <laughs> Institute of Consecrated Life Topic. Institutes of consecrated life are canonically erected institutes in the Roman Catholic Church whose members profess the evangelical councils by vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience. There are two types topic. Religious institutes topic. Religious institutes are characterized by the public profession of vows, communal life, and a degree of separation from the world. Topic. Orders Topic. Some institutes are called orders. These are institutes in which, for historical reasons or because of their character or nature, solemn vows are made by at least some of the members. All members of these orders are called regulars because they are governed by a rule i.e. regula, and if they are women they are called nuns. Maniales. The orders are older than the congregations. Topic. Congregations Topic. Other religious institutes are called congregations. Their members make simple vows, women are called sisters. Topic. Secular institutes Topic. Secular Institutes is an organization of consecrated individuals who, unlike members of a religious institute who live in community, live in the world, and work for the sanctification of the world from within. Institutes may also be classified as a clerical or lay institute. D. 
depending on whether the members exercise holy orders, can. 588.2, and can. 588.3. Society of Apostolic Life a Society of Apostolic Life is a group of men or women within the Catholic Church who have come together for a specific purpose and live fraternally. Both institutes of consecrated life and societies of apostolic life need the written approval of a bishop to operate within his diocese, although a diocesan bishop can establish an institute of consecrated life or society in his own territory, after consulting the apostolic see. Administration. Topic. The current prefect is Cardinal João Braz de Aves, former Bishop of Ponta Grossa, Archbishop of Moringa and Archbishop of Brasilia. The current secretary is Archbishop José Rodrigues Carballo, OFM, who was previously Minister General of the Order of Friars Minor. There are two under-secretaries of the congregation, Father Sebastiano Pachola, OSIST, and Sister Nicoletta Vittoria Spazzati, ASC. Topic. Cardinal prefects since 1908 Topic. Topic. Secretaries since 1908 Topic. Topic. See also Topic. Perfecti Caritatis, Decree on the Adaptation and Renewal of Religious Life Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. G Catholic. Org. The Congregation for Institutes of Consecrated Life and Societies of Apostolic Life Letter of Pope Francis to Consecrated Men and Women Regarding the Year of Consecrated Life 2015.